Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever time it is for you. For us, it's 1.35 p.m. What is that, Pacific Standard Time? I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking Eastern time. We're Eastern time. Okay. Well, we're in South Carolina, whatever that is. So I I got this cute little traveler's notebook cover from Amazon. And I, okay, the, like, uh, the, 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 uh, I like pink. And I like, I, I love pink. I mean, I'm a girl. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. That's so stereotypical. But they had, like, this really gorgeous blue one. And it was called, um, oh, my God. It was called Winter Snowflake Dreams. And it was blue, and it was beautiful. But, like, I had to wait for it. Like, they were on pre-order or whatever, back order, whatever you want to call it. And I I don't have that much patience. When I want something, when I have something in my mind, I got to go for it, man. Because if not, it just, it's not a good, it's, it's, it's not a good place to be, right? Right, boo? Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not. Take what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about how if I don't get something that's on my mind or do something that's on my mind right when it's on my mind, I'm not a happy camper. It's gone. And I annoy people. It's gone. <laughs> and I get manic. It's gone. So I went ahead and got the pink one because I do like that wine color. But this is my first attempt at any kind of eh, junk journaling, travel notebook, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's just my thing. It's just my thing. So you open it up, and they had different options. I chose the ones that had crisscross, um, what are these called? Shut up. Crisscross applesauce. It's the way I like to sit. Crisscross applesauce. It makes my legs hurt. My legs hurt. Okay, anyways, I got the crisscross um, pockets, which I don't know why, because I'm probably not going to. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Uh, I don't know. But. This so that that's okay. So so for so that's the inside cover. Wow, I'm failing on this. I'm failing hard on this, um, this video. But this one can carry. If I can get it, oh my god, guys. Okay, so you can put a total of four notebooks in here. And like I said, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it's an A5. Oh, well, not like I said, because you didn't hear me say it, because I was in the video that I had to do. No, anyways, it carries four traveler notebooks or whatever you want to put in here. Um, what did I just do to it? Oh, I personally am just starting off with the two because I don't want to overwhelm myself. Because as you already know, I'm new to this whole thing now this one um the paper is like a creamy white and can you hear that it's not thick it's not thin um it does have some bleeding but that's okay and then this next one is is cream as well but it's well, no, actually, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same, y'all. I guess they just gave me two. Anyways, I thought one of them was going to be a, a dotted 
grid book. But anyways, um, so this is my first attempt at what I am going to call my junk journal. So I have this little quote. It says, our children are watching us live and what we sh <laughs> what we are shouts louder than anything we can say. I don't agree with that. Uh, excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. And I don't know how to edit it out. So, ah, oh, crap. Um, why is there a marble on the bed? But. So, anyways, I don't agree with that because words always speak louder than, wait, no. Is actions speak louder than words? Yeah. Okay, well, then I guess I do believe that quote. Anyways, I put some beautiful ribbon. Look at how beautiful that ribbon is. And I showed this in another hall where I, oh, my God, I have... I have freaking um, halo stains on my fingers. You know those little oranges? Anyways. Um, so I love this ribbon. Um, it looks like vintage -y, but not too vintage -y Because if any of you have been watching, I'm, I'm like, a, I like vintage, but I like vintage with a modern twist. If that makes sense. I don't know. Anyways, I, I don't want to make this too long. So, I like this collaging. A lot of people do it on Facebook. Um, so, I did a collage. And then I put another quote down here. Which, there was a different one right here. And I liked it way better. But, what happened to it? Oh, yeah. It had a hair stuck underneath it. And I could not get the hair out without just completely ruining it so instead I chose just like mommy which I mean you know <laughs> I guess that will work but it's you know whatever so the first the inside I just put yet another quote that says I like quotes you'll see a lot of quotes you'll see a lot of quotes in my work my pieces of art that says, these are a few of my favorite things. And the reason I put that there is because I thought it would fit there and it didn't. So I, I wanted to use it. <laughs> Anyways, so on the first page, we have another quote. <laughs> it says, mistakes are the portals of discovery and is that not true because we all make mistakes some more than others but we all make mistakes and we can't beat ourselves up about it anyways so but this one has a little a little cubby hole for one of these journaling tags but and it says um what does it say? Just like big dreams, blue skies. Now nah, I don't even know what it says, but but I already wrote on it because I decided to start watching the trials of Gabriel Fernandez on. Did that? It's horrible handwriting. Anyways, on Netflix, and I've got to episode like five, I think. And I had to stop for the night because it's a really tight. Don't start snoring when I'm recording. Rob. <sighs> Whatever. So it's a really sad story about an eight-year-old boy who basically got lost in the system and ended up passing away at the hands of his um, mother and stepfather. It, it, yeah, so I had to stop for the night, though, because, you know, uh, uh, one person can only take so much of that kind of stuff. Um, so then on the next page, I made an opposite pocket. I put it on the top, 
And then I'll show you this in a minute. I drew a flower because I'm I am horrible at drawing, y'all. But I'm gonna try because why not? It's my my journal. And then I got another collage. And believe it or not, this is from that um the the, the all the papers that I'm using right now or in this particular spread or whatever you wanna call it, came from that um that scrap pack from Walmart and I'm loving it. But I also have some ribbon components in there too. Um, but this was, I can't do it one handed. And my husband laid down and like, he's already sawing logs for the freaking winter. Um, so my little daughter, she's, She's nine years old now, and she had to do this letter, and she even got graded on it, and she got a hundred, because of course she wrote about me, so you know, how could you not get a hundred? But anyways, I want to keep that nice and safe, so I made that little pocket for it. Oh, uh, over here, we have some ribbon, and... I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't do a different kind of ribbon, but I went with my initial pictation, or <laughs> not pictation, my original pick, and just went with it, and then did a couple more overlapping. Did I call those collage? Because those aren't collages. They're, they're like over, I don't know. To me, they're overlaptations. They're not creation. Anyways, it's late. It's one forty-seven p a.m. What are you doing, Tucker? No. Oh, look at the guilty puppy. Don't, don't, Tucker. Do not chew on my leather bench. Oh my god, I swear. Okay, and Blue decided he wanted to get real close to that flipping camera. But, so then that, there's that. I'm not, I, honest to god, I'm really not happy. Oh god, that was my foot, sorry. I wish I could edit that out. Um, I'm really, really not happy about this page. I don't like this. I love, I love this paper, but I do don't like how I chose to put it. And is it it's 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 a like pocket. I need a tripod or something because I can't hold this down with my foot because I'm a barefooter and my feet are always dirty. So I got another little um journaling card. Because for me, I'm gonna utilize my journaling cards. Um, I'm going to utilize everything I can. Like, let me make sure that that's not going to get ruined. Um, I might put, like, a picture here or whatever. I want to use up my pages, you know? And then over here we have just a cute little sticker. And, guys, I don't know... I don't know where I where this stuff comes from because my neighbor basically like cleaned out his garage and his ex had a bunch of this stuff so he gave it to me um but it says tiny treasure and if you could feel this piece it's so awesome because it ha it's textured like those bubbles are popping up and it actually feels like rubber but I was still able to, um, can y'all hear him snoring? Yeah. I was still able to, um, rip it with my hands. So we got some little ribbon. And then I did this weird side pocket thing. And, um, once again, we have another journaling card. I really like how that little um, 
what did I call it? I don't know. But I really like that. I think it came out really cute. And then there's a journaling spot on the back. But like on this page, you can like journal all right here, all over here. You can put a picture wherever you want. And that is basically what I've gotten done so far. Oh, and I added some just ribbon tabs, which I'm going to be making some more of. Um, so, yeah, that was a very good thing because this quarantine is... Hold on, y'all. You're going to have to just... Because I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to stop and start again. I don't know anything. I, I told you guys from day one I'm new to all of this. But while we're at it... I'm also going to show you something. I'm going to keep you on the bed, though, because my room is not the clean. Well, it's clean, but I just don't want the world to see it. Um, I'm also going to show you this nifty little craft that me and my sister made. And I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the place. Um, we got, but my sister... I don't know if she was, like, the first one or whatever because there's so many people in this world. But there's, like, instead of using a pizza a, a pizza the pan, we decided to use these plastic um, trays that they had. And we just, well, my sister went ahead and threw a coat of spray paint. And then, so so that's from the Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree. It says, always stay humble and kind. You know, we cut it to size. Um, she had a spool of this really pretty, um, I don't know what that's called, but, excuse me. And then what looks like big thumbtacks or whatever. And like I said, my sister is all vintage. She loves everything vintage, everything old, everything antique. Like, she just does. Me, I like the look of it, but I like to switch it up. So instead of doing the burlap bows and, you know, the, the cotton or whatever, I chose to use these big booming flowers and they're in the prettiest color which I would say is like a dark wine color and then we did get these little styrofoam balls <laughs> sorry I'm so immature Tucker what are you eating look at this this, this dog I swear give it to mommy Ugh. Okay, well, I guess it's not that unusual for a dog to eat a stick. But, anyways, um, we have these little sparkly balls. They're styrofoam. And I just stuck it up under there. And on this one, it was, I like, I had to cover up where I closed the, um, the thing. So, instead of doing another big blooming flower... I took the flower apart and I made it into a um into a bloom instead of a full. That's why there's littler balls <laughs> closer to the flower and it's like a representation that like, you know, these balls haven't oh my god, no, I'm not even going to say it no matter how bad I want to say it. I'm not going to say it. But these ones have kind of grown and dropped a little bit. And these balls are still in the process of doing their thing. So that is one of my little DIY things that me and my sister did. Because we try to have, um, we try to do like a craft session every weekend. But we usually end up at the stores or just chilling, you know, Tucker, this is my Tucky, 
He is so cute. I got mad at him earlier, and the poor little baby actually had little tears coming out of his cute little eyeballs. I love him, and here's my baby Blue. I normally don't call him Blue because his correct name is Brutus. Um, that's the name he came with, so that's the name I kept. Because no matter how hard I tried, he would only come to Brutus. So, um, this is my sleeping barito husband. I finally got him into the bed. And I am not going to turn this camera around because I am hideous right now. This quarantine is doing me no good. And I am actually watching um, some YouTube in the background. And I was like, I've got to get something up because if I want to get anywhere, I need content. We, like, that's the most important thing. So... I hope that all you crafters, DIYers, regulars, and whoever else of all all areas of life enjoyed this little whatever you want to call it. To just I just hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like me <laughs> and the stuff that I've been doing then give it a big thumbs up um if you don't go ahead and give it a thumbs down I'm not wait I'm not gonna stop you from showing your feelings and if you want to you can go ahead and subscribe you can ring that little bell and get some notifications but, you know, who, I don't know. I don't really use that feature of Facebook. So, to leave you off, I'm going to leave you with this. And before I leave you with this, I'm going to say good night to all of you. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. And I'm leaving you with this. Good night. Bye.